Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today is Saturday morning and we didn't have anything to do, which is honestly rare these days. And so we decided that we were gonna take a spontaneous little road trip to Gainesville where there's a lavender farm. Um, and it's about noon right now. We really we slept in so late and then I saw a post on you know those like Instagram accounts where they like highlight things going on around your town and they highlighted this lavender farm and I showed Ryan and we're like, mm, let's go. So that's what we're doing. But I just wanted to kick off this vlog. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna run out the door because Ryan is starving. <laughs> we're gonna go pick up a bagel on our way out the town. Please excuse this horrid mess. I'm gonna clean it this weekend. That was actually what I was gonna do today but the lavender farm was calling us. So this dress is from Anthropology, and then my boots are from Matisse, and that's about it. What earrings am I wearing? Um, these little hoops from Lily Clasp. Maddie, are you excited for lavender farms? we're doing we got our basket and scissors and the rule is the tie has to be able to fit around the bunch and it's eight dollars per bunch so we're gonna go get some lavender got our lavender don't we got our lavender now we chill. You can hear the rooster. Okay, that was so much fun. If you are from the DFW area, highly recommend. It was great. And it's always good to support a small business. So um, I wanted to do a little haul because we went a little crazy in the gift shop where I did. So we got our fresh lavender. So basically you can, um, it's as much as it's as much as you can fit in this little twist tie, but honestly, you get kind of tired of cutting the lavender, but it smells so good. I think I'm gonna split it between my mom and I. Then I got this. I got their little uh, Lavender Ridge Farms favorite lavender recipes, and I got two of each. I got the culinary lavender to cook with. Be really good on like chicken. The lady said potatoes, and then herbs de Provence. My gran, I was texting her while I was there and she said this is really good on chicken as well. Um, and other things. And then we also got um, garlic stuffed olives for our dirty martinis, because that'll be really good. Got some bath salts, lavender bath salts. And let me see, what, are, what else is in here? I got bubble bath, I think is that what this is? Oh, and then we got some Uh, strawberry root, strawberry rhubarb preserves. So now we were looking at, we're like, we're already out here. Let's look up what else there is to do out here. And so we just found a winery. It's 
so we're gonna check it out. Looks like nobody's here, but they said walk-ins are welcome, so we'll check it out. Got two flights, one of whites, one of reds. We're trying them both now. This one, we like. We just got home. I just made the bed a little bit, just cleaning up. And I'm about to take a bath with my new bath salts that I got um, today at the Lavender Farm. So I'm gonna do that. And then it's kind of a weird time right now because, so we had the cheese board, but then now I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna be kind of healthy. But I don't know what I want for dinner. And it's already like 7.30, so. This okay. is gonna, okay. It says to do two to three tablespoons. Let's go a bit, let's do about 30. Sunday morning we just have had like a really slow morning but it's been awesome I was supposed to go to an orange theory class this morning actually and my body just needed to sleep and I decided to listen to my body I told Ryan that and he's like you should probably do that more often but anyways so I my mission today is to clean up this room but first it's actually pretty today and the sun's kind of peeking out and it's been like overcast for literally over a month here in Dallas so we're gonna go down to the pool for a little bit get some sun and then we're just gonna have a chill day and yeah I'll take you guys down to the pool with us though just got out of the shower we just got back from the pool and for me <laughs> I got a little color we're working on it but I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys my main skincare routine. Um, I just put sunscreen before I went down to the pool, but now I'm gonna actually do my skincare. So I use Axone, I get some my dermatologist. I think it's like acne prevention, which hasn't been working too well on my chin, but I actually was thinking about this and one, dermaplaning. I do it at home and I, I've had it professionally done, but that really helped with my acne because I think it helps my serums and retinols and everything absorb better um and then also making sure i wash my comforter often enough and because i feel like the um like the top of the comforter i sleep with it on my face and i always get whenever i get breakouts it's always on my chin so i'm thinking that's probably another reason i'm breaking out and diet so those three things i'm gonna make sure I keep up with but yeah so do this and then I'm gonna do um, I'm actually gonna try a different one today I got this in my FabFitFun box which really impressed me this month it was such a good gift Ryan's mom got me a subscription for a year so I get one a season and I got two vitamin C serums in it because I like requested it in my box and I just knew I needed it and I love the summer fragrance one this is the one I usually use and so I requested this in my box and they sent me a new one um, but I also got this one and it's from Sensuals and it's a facial serum vitamin C with hyaluronic acid and edelweiss plant stem cells. And so I want to try this this morning so you guys get my first impressions. But I know hyaluronic acid is really good for moisturizing your skin, but honestly it really stings my skin sometimes for some reason. I just don't think I'm used to it, but 
I'm just gonna do it really good. Just gonna press it in. And on days when I know I'm not gonna wear any makeup but I still want like a little coverage, I'll go in my Elsa MD sunscreen. And it has, um, it's tinted, and so it has a little bit, so you can see whenever it comes out, it has like, it almost looks like a foundation, but it's the best. It just like really evens out your skin tone. I think it has the most beautiful color. And yeah. And that is my skincare. And now I just put on this really wrinkly shirt from Aritzia. I'm gonna make a little snack, and then I'm gonna finally tackle the closet. Okay, I really went off with the whole snack plate situation. Now I have two snack plates. Broccoli cherries, a beef stick, crackers, almond butter, and apples, and tzatziki sauce that I will, um, I like dip the, the crackers in and the broccoli in. Tzatziki's been like our obsession and, oh my gosh, our washer and dryer is so loud. And it convinced me otherwise, broccoli is a an elite vegetable. Last minute to run down to Uptown to suit supply because Ryan really does need a new suit for this wedding we have this weekend. So we're gonna see what we can find, and they also have a little coffee shop down here. We're like, need some coffee. So that's what we're doing. And then I'm finally gonna go back home and clean out my closet. I'm holding myself accountable right now by saying this over and over again. <laughs> After we went and got Ryan's suit, he got the most handsome blue suit from Suit Supply. It's gonna be perfect. So that was really good to knock that out. Oh shit, we were gonna take it to the tailor and we forgot. I need to do it. <laughs> Anyways, so mini Sephora haul. I got another one of these um, Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Removing Balms. I love it. It just melts everything away. It's so much more relaxing. It doesn't polish your skin as hard as makeup remover wipes. Then I also got this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, and it has SPF 40 in it, which is really cool. We're going to the beach in a couple of weeks, and I or the Dominican in specific. I'm so excited, um, and I got I wanted something like to wear. Um, it's like sunscreen on my face, but also gives me a little bit of coverage. So I got that, and then I always am a sucker for something in the line when I'm waiting, and I ended up getting this Moroccan Hydrating Styling Cream, and I thought that'd be really good because I want to wear my hair more natural, especially on vacation. You just don't want to worry too much about like styling your hair. I'm sure I will a night or two, but um, this would be really good for my natural hair because I like my natural hair and it has some good wave to it, but this said it um, hydrates, it, uh, da, 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 da. it adds definition and shine and eliminates frizz, which is exactly what I want. So I'll report back on these on the Ilia and this because these are both new to me. But the makeup removing balm is my ride or die. I love it so much. Now I'm gonna go make some salmon for dinner and put it in the oven and then I'm gonna get to doing my closet. And then we'll just start winding down and getting ready for the week. And it's gonna be a really good week. So I'm really excited. So yeah, let's go make salmon and veggies and potatoes. All right, dinner is served. We have air fried potatoes with Herb de Providence on it, which I guess is a season that has lavender in it. I got it yesterday at the lavender farm. And then my salmon, I did it blackened with pickled jalapenos. And then my roasted broccoli, I love putting in lemon and um, Parmesan on it, so. All right, the time has finally come to clean out this bad boy. I think what I'm gonna do first is pick out everything that I don't need anymore. And then, um, make a list of the things that I want to list on po or like separate the things I want to put on Poshmark and then separate the things I'm just going to donate um and yeah maybe by the time I post this I'll have some things on Poshmark so I'll link that below if I have that done um and yeah so basically my thing was I'm like I'm not because I need more hangers because I have too many clothes 
but I already bought a huge pack of them a while ago and I'm out and I'm like okay I'm not allowed to buy any more hangers this is a me problem and I need to clean out this ish so that's what we're doing and then I'll have more hangers and I can hang up all the stuff that's a mess in my little office area so let's do this okay progress is being made we got a pile of things that we're donating the stuff is being listed on Poshmark got plenty more hangers over here and yeah it just looks a lot better this is bothering me I need to settle down okay okay cool <music> Okay, I finished taking pictures of everything to list on Poshmark, and now it's just time for this situation. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to do like a cool transition. Much better. So, pretty much done. Do have a little corner over here for my little bridesmaid box that I'm making, and so that's just stuff that has to stay out. But yeah, everything else, I feel... Like, it's pretty good. But like, I'm ready to start my week. Hung everything up, and I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.